Good afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live for April 17th, 2014. And on this beautiful Thursday, we're honored to have with us the White Buffalo. <laughs> Buffalo on Audio Tree Live. Thanks, gentlemen, for coming out and playing for us today. C certainly. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Uh, Jake, could you share with me a little bit about? I, I know, or I read that you played college baseball. Is that <laughs> I correct? I did. I played it at St. Mary's College, a little Division One baseball. I pitched and uh, and I uh, played third base. Sweet. Um, was it a big deal growing up? Like, was your family involved with baseball? Was that, like, the thing? Is that why you got no. into it, or no? No, my dad was a wrestler. Oh, wow. Not terribly great at ball sports. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, Dad. Uh, sorry. <laughs> so how did you get into it in the first place, then? Uh, no, I don't know. It was just, you know, grew up in Southern California. That's kind of what kids did. Sure. Yeah. Throwing around backyard and all that jazz. Yeah, you betcha. <laughs> and then kind of ended, I mean, you played all four years of college? I did yeah. Okay, and then it just kind of ended because music came about? Yeah, I kind of, you know, I had opportunities to, to um, you know, go on and play minor league ball, and I kind of just decided I wanted to do music, you know? Yeah, as a full-time thing. Well, yeah, not a very focused full-time thing. Sure, sure. At that point, but it took me a little bit to get my, my stuff together. Yeah, so did playing baseball, like, distract you from music, or were you kind of doing both at the same time? Yeah, I was doing them both at the same time. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't playing live much then, or even after I stopped playing baseball. Cool. Wasn't, wasn't it took a little bit, bit for me to get my get my steam. Yeah, right on, man. Well, good. Glad you're playing music now. <laughs> um, you can go into your next song. I'm 
don't say anything at all God don't listen to me no ways Now I'm left here all alone Ooh, I hear what the neighbors say That poor boy He's lost his way White Buffalo. I have a few friends who are really big Sons of Anarchy fans, especially one of them who is super stoked, is probably watching right now. Shout out to Jeffrey. And uh, I'm, I'm wondering when you're asked to write a song or when you're asked to put a song into a show like that, do you have to get into a different headspace to write that? I mean, obviously it fits your style and stuff, but um, yeah, do, do you have to change the way that you're um, putting out music for I, it? I, I, yeah, no, actually, I just... They use existing songs that okay. I've had. I've never written anything for the show. Specifically actually. for it. Okay. So cool. I'm not sure if I could even do anything like that. I yeah. <laughs> Solicited for it or whatever. Right. So I just, it just, um, it's just dumb luck. I think that I write these conflicted, uh, dark and evil songs. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, if then, like, how does the process of uh, going about putting it in, go. They just say, "Hey, man, can we use this song?" And you say, yeah, "Yes." Now, I mean, now I have a fairly good relationship with the with the supervisor, so he'll call me and say, "Hey, I'm thinking about using this song, or you want to come in and sing on something." Um, it's pretty relaxed right now. Cool. First name basis with him. And yeah. all that kind of. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll send him stuff that I'll think might be cool for the show, and he'll be like, "Oh, wow," like, you know. And then you know, even when it's kind of bare bones, and then we'll work on it until yeah. it's ready. Flesh it out. Yeah. Cool. Sweet. Uh, you can go to your next song. This town is different. 
not like the times before Will I cross my heart That I won't kill no more Jesus who watch over me I keep my anger at home You better bless these wicked hands Cause you got a mind of their own Don't go downtown The devil whispers in my ear It's time for your curtain call I dress myself on the Tree live with the white buffalo. Man, I wish I could whistle like that. I can't really make like a, it just like barely comes out like a tiny bird or something lame. Um, if you guys, question for all the three of you, if you could treat yourself to something like you find 20 bucks in your pocket or whatever, you get a little bit of extra cash, what would it be? I don't know. Mac and cheese pizza that I had last night. Oh, <laughs> where do you have it? Where do you have the mac and cheese pizza? What was that? G's or something like that. It was right by the Metro. That was here amazing. In Chicago. Sweet. On Mac and Cedar cheese pizza. Mac and cheese it. pizza. Awesome. I'm pretty, pretty decadent. <laughs> There's a place yeah. called Demos that makes it around here. Oh, yeah. They deliver to us sometimes. It was over by the Metro or something. Is that a, like a Chicago okay. thing? Uh, I think that sort of g like garbage food thing is fairly Chicago. I don't know if we're the only city that does it. You know, I sorry, I didn't mean to insult. Well, I mean like a, you know, no, random <laughs> random toppings of stuff. You know, like yeah. sort of stoner pizza stuff is like how I think of it. And I like they do a lot of like barbecue chicken pizza or like I don't know <laughs> random stuff like that. So besides mac and cheese pizza. Anybody else? Um, Jake? Yeah, I don't know. Matt? Maybe some walnuts. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like walnuts? <laughs> I, I just I just started liking walnuts. I used to hate walnuts. Or something, you know, something for my son or something. Like yeah, that. okay. Cool. Good answer. <laughs> you guys can go into your next track.
song as a man whose job is pretty much solely reliant on the sound of my voice and yours as well uh -huh. when did you realize maybe that you had a cool voice whether speaking or singing um well i didn't start really start uh, playing guitar or singing until i was about 20. oh okay so cool. it was later um when your voice had more or less fully developed i suppose by then yeah it wasn't in the choir or anything when i was a little yeah. kid so but <laughs> yeah I, I wasn't really aware that i could sing or had a, some kind of tone to yeah. my voice that um, but then it took me a little while to kind of hone my own style. Sure. You know? And how do you keep cultivating it? Um, you know, I just let it let it go where it goes, you know, and try to, um, you know, expand on whatever, any range that I can. Sure. And, you know. Or, so, or focus on the, like, special parts of it and keep those yeah, parts growing. Yeah, I mean, growing. I think it's more about kind of trying to have emotional connections to lyrics and songs and um, letting that kind of guide the path of, the power or sensitivity of, of singing. Sure, which helps then with the concept of the record and putting yourselves in those characters, right? Yeah, as far sure. As Joe yeah. and Julian. Yeah, sure. Sweet, man. Thanks again, you guys, for playing, and you can go play your last song. You're welcome. Father, well, I 
Tree Live with the White Buffalo. Shadows, Grays, and Evil Ways is out now, so get it on the internet and, you know, local record store and stuff like that. Um, and they're on tour with Chuck Reagan, New York in two days, the 18th, so check them out there. Anything else you guys want to say about that? Um, no, just we got a lot more tours. We were in Asbury Park the next day. We're in, later we got Boston, Philly, D.C., Pittsburgh, so we got a bunch cool. of Cool, all the way through the middle of May, so check them out. Um, Thank you to you guys. Thanks to Emperor Cabs, to the Music Garage, to Goose Island. Awesome people in the studio, sound engineers, camera and lighting crew. Viewers, thank you for watching. Support the band by downloading the session when it comes out in a few weeks. And send a shout via social media to us or the band if you just want to connect. From all of us here at the studio, thanks for tuning in. Goodbye.